Hi everyone, uh, this is the first video that I'm actually uploading to my YouTube channel uh, Best Foot Forward with Martin Taylor Beebe uh, I'm quite nervous, I hope I include everything that I want to include and give you as much information as possible that will help uh, you on any future walk that you might be planning to do so please like this video if you have any comments please comment send me a message of things I can do maybe better uh, you, you know to, to give you as much information as possible so th this video is uh, the first video in a series I'll be doing for an upcoming walk that I'm starting in six days time it's the walk along Hadrian's Wall from Bowness on Solway to Wall's End, just outside Newcastle. I'm giving myself five days to do this. Uh, lots of people do it in six, seven, eight days. Uh, five days is quite adventurous, but I think it's realistic and I have an itinerary for where I'm going to be going each day uh, so I think yeah five days should be okay so I'm taking kit uh, that will last me for five days now I've seen kit reviews uh, kit lists and kit reviews on YouTube of other people that have done a similar or, or the same walk and I've taken what I think are the best bits from each video and I've compiled my own uh, list, my kit list, which is on the bed behind me. Uh, it looks a bit of a mess, so I do apologise. But it's all on the bed behind me. And I'm going to run through it with you. And hopefully that will give you some ideas or some inspiration. Should you want to plan a similar type of walk uh, in the future. Okay, so I'm going to run through the things that I've got here uh, in, in no particular order really but I'll start with the the bag I'll be taking so this is a carry more uh, if you can yeah carry more uh, SA Jaguar 75 litre <clears throat> now there are hundreds literally hundreds of rucksacks on the market I've not looked at them all I've looked at several and this is by far the best uh, that I thought that would meet my needs. Okay, well, well, why, why did I say that? Okay, first of all, the size, it's 75 litre, which you can get ample uh, of, of items in here. There's lots of side pockets, lots of straps, hooks to hang bits and bobs. Uh, the shoulder straps here, as you can see are really thick really really thick as is the waistband and inside the waistband if I just pull this apart there's actually a uh, plastic supports on each side the straps are thick the buckles are thick and the, the quality build just seems so much better than some I have seen some are as big but the straps and buckles are really really thin and I'm thinking well if you're gonna be hiking uh, you know you, you want a bag that's gonna be supportive so this to me just seemed uh, for my needs you know the, the right choice you get the two metal spines then the, the inside of the bag as well again adding to its security and and its strength the other the other thing I liked about it actually is when this is all packed if there's something at the bottom that you wanted you don't have to rummage down here and take everything out there's actually another set of zips just here so if you undo that, that gives you access straight to the bottom of the bag. 
which I think is really good. There's also an internal divide in the bag uh, to keep any wet clothes or dirty boots away from any clean items that you've got. So yeah, the Carrymore SA Jaguar, that's the one I've gone for. And hopefully that's going to do the trick. Having not done a solo hike and camp before, I've bought a one-man tent. Again, I've gone with reviews. And this is a Robins Arrowhead tent. One-person tent. Excellent reviews. The German company seems to be very, very good quality. I think I paid for this about £80. But that was maybe six months ago. I've not used it yet, only to put it up to, 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 to see how it went up. So prices may fluctuate, but at the time it was, it was about £80. Paid for that. But very, very good tent. This is the sleeping bag. It's a Bango Galaxy 250. It's one we have had as a family. I think we've got four, three or four of these. As a family, we use these. We've had them years and years and years. Really good quality, thick sleeping bags. However, I may actually swap this out for something less thick and less bulky. Uh, yes, it might be a little bit wet when I'm out and about walking. It's not going to be cold. So I think this might just be a bit too warm for me, but we'll see. For now, this is what I'll be taking. This is uh, another purchase I made only a few days ago, an X Gline, X Gline inflatable roll mat. I like how these items come in their own little uh, cami bags to keep them clean. Uh, and you know a bit more resistance damage I'm five feet eight uh, I blew this up last night and I would say this is probably about five feet nine five feet ten in length so just about big enough for the for the tent maybe about two inches thick really comfortable uh, so that's the roll mat I've gone with again from reviews from other people uh, and on other websites that was coming out pretty high again another little purchase I've made in the last couple of days a Trackology 2.0 inflatable pillow there's a two sorry there's a Trackology 1.0 the 2.0 is a, a, an improved version Again, because of reviews, that's what I've gone for. Okay, so that's kind of the tent stuff. Now, I'll go through the other equipment I've got uh, in no particular order, and then I'll show you the clothing I'm taking at the end. So if I just kind of start at this end. So there's a first aid kit. There's a safety whistle which I'll have around my neck while I'm walking. There's a show drinks bottle. This is the one litre one. It's kind of the, one of the biggest ones they do. So this will keep hot and cold drinks hot and cold, or hot or cold. I'm gonna use this for cold. Uh, I've been using this now for maybe eight months and it will keep ice cold water literally ice cold for maybe seven or eight hours really good sturdy bottle this is uh, an item that I bought as well it's uh, a food flask so whereas that can keep my drink cold this will keep any food hot and that's a, a 720 degree food flask with a cup if you need it. 
So that's those two. I have a a little cutlery set, knife, fork, and spoon, and it's a little carry case. That's by a company called Euro Hike. On on the back of this little holder, there's actually a can opener there, there's a can opener and a bottle opener. So I think that's a really good little idea. Oh, it's only, oh, I think that's about three pounds, something like that. Pretty cheap. I have a head torch. I have uh, some Vaseline, or you could use pseudo cream. But I don't want to start chafing if I'm walking. Uh, it's a long way. And I really don't want to get sore, so I'll be using the, the Vaseline if I need to. Again, this is something I've had for quite a few years. It's a five litre dry bag. So I'll probably use this for the, the tech that I've got and kind of anything, yeah, tech and charging cables, that kind of thing. Of a night time, just to keep them safe and in one place uh, and dry. So I'll be taking that with me. It's very lightweight, it doesn't take up any room, so no harm in taking that. Uh, okay, so here I have uh, a bin liner for any wet or dirty clothes. I have another bin liner that I'll actually line the backpack with. So I'll put the bin liner in the backpack and then everything will go into the bin liner to keep the backpack clean and, and dry. I have a couple of regular carrier bags just here if I have any uh, rubbish. These are dog poo bags. Now we're all human. We don't know when the, the need will arise. And yes, you should always go before you leave. However, if you get caught short, there's some dog poo bags. and some baby wipes. So if I need to go, I can go, I can clean myself afterwards. Uh, so yeah, that's a selection of little bags. I have a Swiss army knife here. And it's safety pouch. I have, uh, oh yeah, this is really good actually. So this is an Anchor power port solar panel. So this is about A4 size as it is. And the idea behind this is that I will use these uh, carabiner clips through the eyelets here, and that will go on the outside of my backpack while I'm walking. One, two, three solar panels. And just in that, I don't know if you can see that, just in there. Yeah, there you go. Are two USB ports. So I can charge my phone on the go uh, or whatever else I need to charge. That, that will come in really useful, I'm sure. If I did it's obviously quite sunny. Uh, when I bought that off Amazon, they were £39, and that was kind of the back end of 2019. I was on offer, I think now they're, they're nearly £60. So, all this stuff is useful, but make sure you shop at, you know, at the right time and the right place if you can. Similarly, for power storage, this is an anchor. Uh, 20100 power core so that will be charged and I can use that when I'm out and about uh, away from electric to keep things charged I need to keep charged what else have I got okay so I've got toothpaste toothbrush deodorant a little squidgy bottle of uh, shower gel, a thing of body spray, 
and some contact lenses because when I'm not wearing these bad boys I'll wear contact lenses but I'll probably wear these for most of the walk actually because contact lenses can irritate my eyes a little bit but they're in a, a little plain in-flight bag LA tablets what else have I got? I've got a little Bluetooth speaker which I'll use with my iPod for a little bit of music of a night time while I'm in my tent if I need to I have my Phoenix 5 Plus Garmin smartwatch for tracking where I'm going, how far I've been, everything else. A box of grenade carb killer protein bars. I'm not taking, one thing I'm not taking is uh, like a little portable camping stove. <clears throat> so I'll be relying on uh, uh, snack bars, uh, buy food on the go. If I'm in between shops or an overnight stay at, at camp, at least um, I, I could maybe have a couple of these just to see me through the night. Here is an itinerary of where I'll be on what night with contact names and numbers. Also, I will have a very small off the shelf mobile phone. So should my main uh, Samsung phone get lost or damaged in any way, at least I'll have this second backup phone uh, as an emergency should I need it. Right, a quick run through of the clothing. <clears throat> so I have several pairs of socks. Uh, they're kind of hiking socks by the way I have several pairs of pants now if you're watching this in America or Canada or any other place where you call underwear pants in the UK pants are underwear so I've got several pairs of pants I have a t-shirt and shorts for sleeping in. I have uh, three sweat wicking t-shirts. I have four micro fleeces. Uh, these a couple of these are breathable, so they're they're good. But all all the clothes, most of the clothing, by the way, is from a company called Trespass. I'll just show you that one because it's on the top. Trespass. So when I started planning this walk, tail end of 2019, uh, Trespass had a, a really good clothing sale on. So I took that opportunity to buy some fleeces and some t-shirts. So that's what I'll be taking with me. These are a pair of Berghaus Expediter AQ Ridge walking boots so i've got these off ebay second hand i think i paid 20 pounds for them i've used them a couple of times actually it says they're waterproof and they are really good really good boot the other boots i bought uh, were more expensive these are mindell vacum walking boots I think brand new these are maybe 220 pound a lot of money there was a guy selling these on ebay he'd worn them once so they were immaculate and for personal reasons he couldn't walk anymore so i think he wanted about 175 pound but i offered him 155 and he accepted so these are gore-tex really really sturdy boot so i'm looking forward to using them uh, to do some good mileage in. Quickly, I've got two pairs of thin walking trousers by a company called Dare to Be. 
I've got a thicker pair of over trousers called Crag by Crag Hoppers. I've got a pair of Trespass Gators, should I need them. That's a microfiber, a microfiber towel, which is a lot thinner than a regular bath towel, but does exactly the same thing. Uh, lightweight, compact, easy to dry afterwards. So that's a microfiber towel. The coat I'm taking is again a Trespass DLX soft shell raincoat. There's a couple of vents in there. Uh, I've worn it a couple of times. Really good. The, the, the water just bounces straight off it. Very good jacket. And I think the only thing I've not shown you, mm, yeah, possibly, is the GoPro. That's a Hero 8 Black. So I'll be doing daily videos on route along Hadrian's Wall. And when I get home, I will edit it and post to my page. Uh, so I think that's everything covered pretty much like I said if if you like this video please like it subscribe to my page uh, best foot forward with Martin Taylor BB and check back I'll do another video for my drive up to Carlisle I'll do another video for the uh, night in the hotel in the Premier Inn prior to the walk and then I'll do daily videos uh, of my great adventure along Hadrian's Wall, which I'm really looking forward to. But until then, uh, stay safe, and I shall hopefully see you again. Okay, bye for now.